tutorial makeup look and um, it's kind of late I know I haven't filmed the tutorial in about a little more than a week or so but I do have a valid excuse and that is that my sister finally had the baby and may I say she is the cutest baby I've ever seen like usually babies don't really look cute or like they don't get chubby until like a few days after they're born but she was born so cute and she has a bluish grayish eyes and so she is so cute and I'm excited to see her grow and stuff but yeah, on to back to the makeup stuff. Uh, today I'm doing a peacock look, and I love this look because I feel like you don't need an official costume for it. You just have to really just do your makeup really funky and colorful, and maybe add a few peacock accessories or feathers onto your face or hair or whatever you want. Um, and for this look, feel free to adjust anything you guys don't like. If you guys want to make the feathers a little more symmetrical, then go ahead and do that. Um, but I like it kind of different on both sides uh, but yeah at the end I added a little crystal I didn't include that in the video I kind of stopped filming and then I thought hmm maybe I should add a little more pizzazz to this look so I added just one crystal on each side over here but you guys could add more or less as I said before you guys could change whatever you want and yeah um I also added this lipstick which I didn't include in the video, so I know I'm so bad. It just slapped my hand uh, for forgetting to film that part, but my battery died. Um, but this is, I think, I don't know. I forgot what it is, but I'll post it over here so you guys can know. If you guys want to see a full list of all the products I used in this tutorial, you guys can definitely check that out on my blog, which is www.paintedredwith. 3ds.blogspot.com and I'll put that over there for you and if you want to see how to do this look then definitely stay tuned. So first I'm starting off with covering the ends of my eyebrows and I'm just using plain old Elmer's glue, of course the washable kind, and applying that directly onto the hairs of my eyebrow. Now taking an orange stick or a q-tip or a toothpick you could just apply a little more of that Elmer's glue kind of apply it more thickly onto the eyebrow hairs so they're really concealed and covered now while that's drying I'm just gonna apply a primer to my eyelid and you could just use any primer you have now I'm just taking NYX Jumbo eye pencil and I'm applying that anywhere where I want the gold and bronze pigment to go now I'm just blending that out with my finger and I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow. First one is Plumage from MAC and I'm just taking that on an angled brush and applying that into my crease area. Just making a line directly from my outer corner of my eye and closer to my inner corner leaving a little bit of space and I'm winging that out as well. I'm filling it a little bit. Now taking that pencil brush, I'm really going to try to blend this out properly because it's sort of a matte texture um, color. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Now I'm just taking Goldilocks eyeshadow from Sugar Pill and a little bit of Fix Plus just to wet it and make it look more bright. And I'm applying that to three quarters of the way onto my bottom lid and then applying a Jessie's Girl bronze color pigment as well the same way. Now I'm just going to take my powder and set that glue that I used to cover my eyebrow. Now take a creamy white product, and this I'm using Ben 9's Clown White, and I'm applying that where I covered my eyebrow hairs with the glue. And then I'm kind of going to blend it out with my finger just so it looks a little more natural, if that could even look natural <laughs> at all. Next take a bright blue eyeshadow. I'm using Electric Eel from MAC, and I'm taking that same pencil brush I used before, and a fluffy brush just to pat that onto my uh, crease area. I want that to look really, really bright. Now I'm just winging that color out a little bit. And I'm going back in with Plumage from MAC with a pencil brush just to deepen up that crease area and make it really defined. Now I'm just taking MAC Surf USA eyeshadow and I'm applying that with a big fluffy brush to make sort of a gradient effect on my crease area and brighten up that color as well. Now I'm just defining that crease again and then applying Blanc type eyeshadow to my brow bone. Now I'm just lining my bottom lash line with a little bit of purple eyeliner and applying a iridescent purple eyeshadow wet onto my bottom lash line as well. Now I'm just tight lining with a little bit of black eyeliner and then setting that with black eyeshadow just to make it really really dark and pigmented. Next, I'm just taking my liquid liner and I'm going to apply that to my top lash line. Make sure to extend that wing a lot and make the line kind of thick. 
just to define your eye shape a little more. Now mix together some of Virgin and Half Bake eyeshadow from Urban Decay for an inner corner highlight. Now don't forget the mascara and apply a couple of coats to your eyelashes to make them really thick and dark and spider out those bottom lash lines so you won't have to add bottom lashes. Next I'm adding my Red Cherry number 43 lashes and I'm going to let that glue dry and then apply them to my lash line. Now taking some concealer and a fluffy brush I'm applying that underneath my eye just to conceal those dark circles and any eyeshadow that has fallen. Next, the fun part. I'm taking these peacock feathers that I got from Michael's, a craft store, and it sort of has a back fabric on it, so I'm just going to peel it off to separate all the feathers. Once you've found a feather that you like, just take a cuticle clipper and cut it to uh, suit your face shape and size. Now just check the placement of the feather and then apply some lash glue onto it and stick it right onto your eyebrow. Try to avoid putting it on the hairs so it won't pull out when you take it off. Now you can leave your eyebrows like that or you could add another peacock feather. I'm just going to apply some various shapes and sizes of feathers all over my eyes. And now I'm just taking a little one and I'm applying that to my bottom lash line. Now your eyeshadow look is complete. Next I'm taking my Hoola bronzer from Benefit and I'm applying that to the hollows of my cheeks. Last but not least, take a highlight color and just apply that to the top of your lips and your cheekbones. Now you're ready to stand proud as a peacock. Thanks for watching. Bye.